Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In this three-part series, we're going to be creating this universal joint. All right, let's hop right to it. Let's start out by creating a new component. And for this, I'm not going to label it, but I'm just going to go ahead and create it. You can label it whatever you want. Just label it component one. And we're going to start out with a sketch on the top plane. We use a center point circle. We're going to give it 24 millimeter dimension. All dimensions are going to be in millimeters. Finish the sketch. We're going to use the extrude tool and extrude this about 33.53 millimeters. All right. All right. This next step is going to be a little involved. However, we can work right through it. All right, so we're gonna create a sketch on the bottom of the cylinder, okay? And what we're gonna start out with is a center rectangle. We're gonna make it a construction rectangle, okay? We're gonna give it 13 millimeter dimensions on both sides. All right. Next, I'm going to use the center point, well, actually three point arc tool. Actually, we want to turn off constructions. We want to make it solid. So three point arc. All right. And we're going to dimension the arc. And we're going to make it 4.75 millimeters. Next, we're gonna use the pattern tool, create a circular pattern. We're gonna select the arc. Center point's gonna be in the center. We want it to be four rotations. So it'll be all the way around. Click okay. All right, let's go ahead and constrain this sketch. So to do that, we're gonna use the line tool. Make sure that the construction uh, type is not selected. We're just going to go all the way around and connect them. Okay. Now that we've done that, we want to make sure that this center point is constrained to the center. So we're going to take the horizontal vertical constraint tool, select the point, constrain it to the center. All right. So that makes sure that each one of these are constrained to the center. Okay. <clears throat> now, what we want to do now is dimension the side so we can fully constrain it. So we're going to dimension from this point to this point. We're going to make it about four millimeters. Sketch is now fully defined. Now, what we want to do is add some chamfers on these four edges, in the corners. All right. So we're going to select this edge and this edge. And we're going to make the chamfer about 4.4 .4 millimeters this edge and make sure you select the correct edge all the way around. If you're following my instructions exactly, even though to tell you that the construction dimensions were removed, once you're done, they should actually come back into place. And then hit enter. And it should look like this. All right. Let's go ahead, finish the sketch. What we want to do is take that profile and extrude it up through the cylinder. Use the extrude tool. Make sure you select that previous profile. Drag it up 
And we're going to make it about negative 19.6 millimeters. All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to create another sketch on the bottom face, and you'll see why in a second. Okay. So what we want to do now is basically create a center point circle, make it about 18.75. All right. And now finish the sketch. I'm going to use the extrude tool and select those profiles. Okay. I want to drag it up. But we want to give it a taper, okay? So what we're going to do is make the distance negative 3.4. And the taper angle is going to be 35, negative 35 degrees. Okay? Click OK. All right. Actually, let me reverse that. I think I made a mistake here. Give me a second. I probably selected the wrong profiles. Let's go back and edit that feature. All right. All right, click OK. Now it's correct. OK, she got this like bevel on the inside. All right. Now, let's go ahead and give this edge a fillet. I'm going to make it about 1.25 millimeters. Click OK. All right. What we want to do next, it's going to be a little tricky here, but we'll work it out. It's going to rotate this. OK. And we're going to put it on the front. And what we want to do with this, let me go ahead and make sure that it's actually set to perspective with ortho faces. All right, makes it a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and use the section analysis tool. We're going to select the front plane and then just click OK. All right. What I want to do now is use the project tool, hit the P key, click on the front plane. All right. We're going to use the specified entity selection filter. We want to select this line and this line. Okay. And we actually could basically select this section right here and click OK. All right. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and turn off bodies. Because this is what we're going to be working with. Okay. We're going to take the line tool. Use a construction line and drag it down till it intersects this other line. All right. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the construction uh, line type. So it'll be solid. And we're just going to draw a line and make it a triangle. About right there. Okay. So now what we want to do is give it a fillet about 1.25 millimeters. Actually, I apologize. It's about 0.25 millimeters, 0.25 millimeters. Okay. And what we want is this arc right here to be tangent with this line. Okay, we're going to take the equals uh, constraint, select this line and that line. Okay, and what we want to do is basically set a dimension from this point to this point, make it about one millimeter. Okay, and now it's fully defined. However, what I want to do 
is basically take off this constraint because I don't want that. I don't want it to be in the midpoint. So I take that off. And what I want is I want the distance from this edge right here to this point to be about 4.7 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and select this point here, center point. And I want this to be 4.7 millimeters. Okay. All right. Now, for this particular sketch, it doesn't necessarily have to be constrained, but you can constrain it. And to do that, what we can do is go ahead and select sketch line. Doesn't look like it's going to be fully constrained. It's not really that uh, big of a deal. However, always keep in mind that you want to fully constrain your sketches. All right, next phase. What we want to do now is basically bring back the body. Okay, finish the sketch. I'm going to select the extrude tool, select that profile. Okay, extent type, I want to be two object. I'm going to select this section right here when it lights up. Okay, and click OK. All right. Now we're going to turn off the analysis tool. Okay. And what I want to do now is basically use the extrude tool again. Select this face. Extent type is going to be two object. I'm going to select it again. And there you have it. All right. Next phase is to use the pattern tool, but we're going to use a circular pattern. And we're going to select the two features we had for the, uh, the extrusions. One, two. All right. The axis, we're going to select, we can either just select the uh, actual body or we can select the Z axis. We just select the body, it's easier. Okay. And we want a quantity of four. Click OK, and there you have it. Okay. All right. Now, what we want to do is basically go to the bottom and create a sketch on the bottom of the cylinder. We're going to use the center rectangle tool. Okay. And what I want to do now is basically rotate this back to the bottom. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and edit this sketch. Because what I want to do is I want to make a couple of these edges tangent with this actual uh, cylinder. So I want this, uh, the outside edge to be tangent with this edge. I want the inside edge to be tangent with this lip right here. All right. It's fully defined. Now, what I want to do is use the extrude tool. Select the sketch profile. Drag the arrow up. And distance wise, I want it to be a negative 17.4. Click OK. All right. Let's go ahead into the front, create a sketch on the front plane. All right. We're going to use the project tool. All right. And so we can go ahead and make sure that bodies are selected. Okay. Click OK. All right. And what we want to do now is create another triangle. But first things first, let's go ahead and create a line and draw this line to this edge, from this edge to this edge. Okay. And then I want to create a triangle. All right. Now let's give this triangle a fillet. So let's go ahead and make it easier. Let's turn off bodies. All right. And let's make this fillet seven millimeters. All right. 
And let's make this top edge tangent with this top line. Okay. Let's use the equals constraint. Select this edge and that edge. Okay. We want to dimension from this point to this point. And we want it to be 2.7 millimeters. Okay. Actually, let's set this up. Let's use the horizontal vertical constraint tool, select the center point and select the bottom center point and it locks into place. All right. Okay. Next phase, finish the sketch, bring back the bodies. Okay. I'm going to use the extrude tool. We're going to select the outer section of the sketch. We're going to make the selection uh, to all direction is going to be symmetric. It's going to be the operation is going to be set to cut. Click OK. All right. All right, next phase. We're gonna create a sketch on the front plane. Use the project tool. Make sure bodies are selected. Select the actual object itself, click OK. Center diameter circle. Once it snaps into place for the center point, we can drag it out and make it 4.83 millimeters. All right, finish the sketch. Use the extrude tool. Make sure the direction is symmetric. Extent type is set to all. Operations cut, click OK. All right. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and give it some fillets. Select this edge, that edge, this edge, as well as that edge. You should have 10 edges selected. And we're going to make this fillet 0.25 millimeters. Well, that completes the first part in a three-part series of the Universal Joint Project. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.